Welcome. In this video, we'll see the introduction to PIC family and PIC microcontroller. So first we'll start with the introduction to PIC microcontroller. So before that, we must know what is a microcontroller. So microcontroller is a IC or a chip which is having CPU. So CPU is used for performing different uh, operations. The operations can be arithmetic operations, logical operations or any other operations. So CPU is the main part of any microcontroller. Next uh, thing is peripherals. So peripherals are again used for uh, providing some additional uh, features or facilities to CPU. For example, a timer is one of the peripheral. So timer can be used for generating a delay. So that is a peripheral. And uh, some additional features can also be included in a controller. So features like uh, a brownout reset circuit. So that circuit can be used to detect the low power supply so, and so on. So such features are also included. So combining all these things, we form a microcontroller. So microcontroller is essentially having CPU, some peripherals and some additional features which make it a complete solution. So why we have to go for microcontroller? So first thing is it is of small size and it is a single chip solution. Why single chip solution? Because it is having all the uh, peripherals required peripherals on the same chip itself for example if suppose i have 8085 that is a microprocessor which is not having any peripherals if i want to convert an analog signal into digital i need a adc ic so a separate ic must be used in that system whereas if i have a microcontroller with inbuilt adc then i i don't have to use the external ic i can use the internal module so this is nothing but a single chip solution. So in a single chip, uh, the different peripherals can be included. So the size becomes small of the system. Uh, next is low cost. So if the size of the system reduces, obviously the size of PCB will also uh, reduce and hence uh, generally the cost will also reduce. Then next is bit manipulation that is code reduction. So uh, in microcontroller, we have some instructions which can be directly uh, used to operate on bits instead of operating on entire bytes. So this saves the uh, additional uh, code or additional instructions required for uh, programming. So that is an additional advantage. Next is uh, timing problems vanish. Uh, if suppose we have a system in which there are peripherals placed at different locations so the clock signal required for those peripherals may not reach at the same instant so because of this some of the peripherals which are closer to clock will be triggered first and the peripherals which are far away from the clock will be triggered later on so this may create some problems so these problems are called as timing problems so these problems do not occur when we use a microcontroller why because all these peripherals are in a single chip and hence all the peripherals get the clock signal at same instant so timing problems are not present in microcontroller next is reliability of product increases so uh, the reliability in the sense that if suppose we have a system in which there are different ICs and peripherals used externally to the processor so in that case if suppose some some IC fails then we have to debug the entire system and find out which IC has failed and then we have to replace that uh, IC. If suppose a system is not working properly then we can directly replace the controller because we are going to use the internal peripherals and internal modules present in that controller. So if there is any problem directly we can replace the IC instead of debugging the entire system uh, the time is also saved. Uh, next is a lot of variety of controllers are available. So uh, for PIC microcontroller, the smallest IC that is available is of 8 pins and uh, it can go up to 100 plus pins. So uh, if, we, if we compare this controller with an uh, another IC like OPAM, so OPAM is also having more pins than uh, this uh, IC. So that is the advantage so if my application is small i can go for a very simple microcontroller which is just of eight pins then a code security feature is also available for microcontrollers that is we can protect the code that we have saved in the controller so so that nobody else can read the code present in the 
controller and nobody can duplicate your product so that is a code security so some of the applications where the microcontroller is used is uh, so applications like a pc keyboard then mouse mobile ups tv fridge uh, oven washing machine automobiles and almost all the miniature intelligent device so now these days uh, some variable electronics are also available in which a low power microcontroller is used so a lot of applications are there so every intelligent device in uh, electronics is having a microcontroller so what is pic so pic is so it stands for peripheral interface control and this is produced by a company called as microchip which is present in usa and the website for that company is www.microchip.com so pic is simply a microcontroller useful for industrial intelligent system design so generally these peak microcontrollers uh, have some additional features which are used in industries so that's why it is generally used in industrial applications the controller that we are going to study is pic 16f877 so in this uh, 16 is the series other series are also available like 12 14 17 and 18 and now they, these days 24 is also available uh, next f stands for flash program memory so flash program memory means uh, it is a electrically erasable programmable read only memory so we can erase the blocks of data at a time within flash of a second so that is a flash memory then c is used for uh, otp versions that is one time programmable versions so once you write the code in that ic then you cannot again change that code so that is a uh, one time programmable version which is denoted by c and finally we have 877 uh, as the product code so uh, different ICs are available so depending on the features the peripherals available in those ICs this product code changes so the IC that we are going to study is having a product code of 877 so this is about the introduction about PIC microcontroller so in the next video we'll see the features available in PIC controllers thank you mm -hmm.